Well, hold up. Are we rolling? Oh, okay. Well, that'll be our... That's for you, YouTube. <laughs> That's for you. Let's do this. Call starts. All right, let's go. Here we go. Ready? Ah. Uh. Are you ready? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know you'll, what that is. is it, you'll see it? <laughs> you'll, it's YouTube. Is it, you'll see it? You'll see it. You'll see it. Let's this go. This is great. This is compelling. Here we go. Jiu-Jitsu weights. Come on, man. You can't talk because <laughs> I'm about to press the let's button. Go. Hey, Peter. Hey, what's up? I want to get into a flow. Flow state? Breathing in. I know that I'm breathing in. I am one with the flow. I choose Defiant Jazz. Exactly. I'm Adam Ennis. I'm Peter Martin. Over there on the piano, that's Peter Martin. Uh, this is the You'll Hear Podcast. Jazz. Explained. Oh, I thought you were going in a different direction there. I like that. Oh, well, we are kind of getting flowy. Yeah. We're yeah, getting we're really we're flowy because we, we got a voicemail the here. The river runs through us. We got a voicemail from Dalen. What's up, Dalen? And uh, if you want to leave us a message, you can simply go to you'll hear it.com. Uh, we're on YouTube, by the way, for this. I'm, and so we're going to put a link there. I'm aware that there's lights in my face. I know. It's I'm a lot, illuminated. It's a lot more lighty in here when we're live on YouTube. But shout out to YouTube. We got a brand new YouTube channel called You'll Hear It. Very creative. <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you go to youtube.com slash you'll hear it, no pronunciation. No, no punctuation. Sorry. And you know what's cool? So if you're listening to this on the podcast, nothing's going to change. But there are some special things we're doing over on YouTube. For instance, on this very episode, yes, we had some false starts. Yes, it wasn't our best work. Well, it wasn't our worst work either. I know it that's was, what's we so were sad flowing about it. Between our best and our worst, that's we do occasionally because because we go unscripted at the beginning. We do. Completely. We go unscripted in the middle. But we we are, go unscripted at the end. It's, listen, it's this all is, it's all bad. This is but uh, no, we we keep the false starts in I for will you. Be reading a teleprompter. <laughs> with the camera, um, but we're going to leave our false starts in on the YouTube so that you can have a little Isn't bit of... Isn't that charming? It is. Oh, it's going to oh, be... Oh, we're going to just... Would that be something you might be yeah, interested in? Yeah, be it would be something I'd be interested okay, in. Okay, tell me about this flow state because I've, I'm super interested in this. I guess we're going to... Is this part of the question too? Yeah, so let's check okay. out the question. Because I have some thoughts on this. Okay, listen to the question from... Imagine that. Dalen. Dalen? Hey, Peter and Adam. First, just want to say thank you so much for all the content you guys have been creating and publishing on Open Studio. Uh, the last few months of my practice has just improved tremendously because of the content that's on there. Um, my question today is about the Open Studio uh, podcast tagline, which is, you'll hear it. Uh, I find that because of my education and my background um, as a musician, I've been filled with so many ideas uh, about the piano and about music theory and you know harmony and all these different things. And when I approach the piano, um, I find more often than not that I'm just pulling from a bucket of ideas in my mind and plopping them onto the piano. And technically they work, but it feels um, very restricting because as a musician, I, I really search for that uh, f space of freedom with the piano where, you know, you're there with the piano and it's this intuitive experience and you can kind of foresee what something is going to sound like before you actually play it, as opposed to just oh, here's an idea, let me just throw it on there and, and that'll be that. Um, so I don't know if you guys had any advice for getting out of the world of ideas and into the more direct experience of playing with the piano and just the sound that it creates as mm. opposed to the idea of the sound that it will create. Uh, hopefully that makes sense, but um, uh, maybe you guys will have some advice. Thanks a ton. So thanks for the question, Dalen. Yes. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Dalen. Dalen is D-A-I-L-E-N. I think that's yeah. Dalen. Um, there's there's Jalen. I know Jalen, like Jalen Rose, the basketball player. Sure, and yeah. I know Galen, Galen Rupp, the great marathoner. Yeah, but I'm yeah, not yeah. familiar with a Dalen. Yeah, now I've I never am. heard that name too. It's a great name. Yeah. Uh, Dalen Spencer is his okay. full name. Um, so Dalen, yeah. So first of all, it sounds like you might be uh, youngish. Uh, just from your voice. And so you're probably or likely in a part of your journey here where you are just ingesting all this stuff and you're absorbing this stuff and uh, you're, it's, it's not quite coming out as naturally as if you were to just sit down when you were five years old and sort of plink out whatever you hear. And that's because you're taking on a lot of information. You're also judging a lot of information. Mm. This is a totally natural part of your process, Dalen, and this is what every musician goes through. Caleb, could you put up on screen that graphic that I gave you, the, the quote? So this is a famous quote in Zen Buddhism. 
And I think this, I always think of this when I think of people who are at this stage of ingesting information and it not quite coming out right. So the quote starts, before one studies then, mountains are mountains and waters are waters. After a first glimpse into the truth of Zen, mountains are no longer mountains and waters are no longer waters. After enlightenment, mountains are once again mountains and waters are once again waters. Now, Dalen, you are in that second phase where the, the mountains aren't mountains anymore and the waters aren't waters, right? right. You have this, these ideas of what you think things should sound like because you're learning a lot, you're ingesting a lot of ideas, like you said, theory and lessons and maybe transcribing and all that stuff. And that's where that gets frustrating because you're like, well, why don't I sound like this? And also I'm not feeling natural when I do it. Yeah. But there is a point after you do all of this, where the mountains become mountains again, the waters become waters, where you're able to just flow with whatever's happening. And you've, you've ingested all of this great information, all of the language from the masters. And so, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So it feels like you're a child again yeah. and things are just happening and you're hearing things, which actually we can do a little exercise later on how to hear some of this stuff. Mm naturally but so you're hearing stuff like you're you're a kid again but you have all this information all this wisdom that isn't coming out unnaturally and not like you're trying to plug in some ideas it's coming out like you hmm. and it just takes time to get through that dylan but i promise you if you stick with the process and you keep absorbing things but you also keep your true to yourself and explore that it'll start happening more and more naturally as you get more experience i love it I've got a little quote too. I didn't have the graphic, but mm. be true unto thine self. I believe that is a William Shakespeare. So, is that old Bill Shakespeare over Bill there? Bill Shakespeare, perhaps, or Bill Maher. I'm not sure. One or the other. Um, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I think it's him. Um, I think that's great the way you put it. I love those three um, levels there that you outlined, and it's very much correlates with, I think, something we all experience in our practice and musical and just artistic journey in that you're going to feel like you're going backwards at a certain point. That's sort of that second stage when you're like mountains are not mountains and what am I doing? I should be getting better. And that's when you can definitely get into a too much of a spirit of like doubt, self doubt. Yeah. Like, and to me, self doubt is like the opposite or the inverse, I should say of flow. Yeah. You know, and of like grace for oneself and in being in that state where you are most likely to be able to contribute something positive through your instrument as an artist to the world. Yeah. You know, to me, that's what flow state or being in the zone or you'll hear it or any of that stuff really means. It's like, how are how can you position yourself to have the highest probability to add something nice to the world through through your music? You know, yeah. um, and so. Like everything in some way, I think that we do in terms of our development, in terms of us talking about this, trying to learn can be and should be or as much as possible towards that goal ultimately. So by going and by, by kind of taking a breath and realizing that's a, not only is it's a lifetime journey, it's not necessarily a lifetime journey as in, oh, when I'm 97 year old, years old, I'm finally going to make it over the mountain and find enlightenment. No, find it today. You just not it's, finding very much of it. That's available. okay. Yeah, it's, you yeah. know, it's available. And so, and not only find it, hurry up because the world needs it. Well, and you might look at that quote and say, well, wait a minute. If the mountains just become mountains and the waters become waters again, why even go through the effort? But it takes that exploration to gain the wisdom yeah. to know, like you have to really, and it's the same, it's the same with that process of meditation too, of like, you have to really poke around at it to gain that wisdom, to feel comfortable where you are and to be able to see the mountains as they are. Yeah. But knowing knowing all of the other possibilities. Right. Yeah. And, and having to go through that. And then you can just sit down just like you were five years old again at the piano. Yes. Like there's there's actually an exercise that I do with some of our. There's a lot of one. Sorry. There's a lot of wonderment and innocence and. And sloppiness and ignorance. We're playing the piano, baby. In being in a flow piano, state, actually. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why we talk about getting in touch with your five year old self or your three year old Absolutely. self or your twelve year old self or whatever. Like there's nothing wrong with that. It's playful. Yeah. It's not. And the work. more of all this stuff, you know, the piano and the theory and the harmony and stuff, don't look at that as um as problematic for getting in that. That foundation will still be there and that will come to your service, totally. but it comes to a bigger service. 
um, than just being able to like, I can play this chord or whatever. It absolutely helps. Yeah. yeah. And getting caught up in the theory and technique and all that stuff. That's where a lot of people just spin their wheels out yeah. without being able to see the mountains again. So can I show you this little exercise yeah, that I work with some of our, our students who are struggling yes. with this? Yes. So the, the, way the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So and it's not being televised. <laughs> well, it is at Open Studio Pro. <laughs> a way you can do this, Dalen, is, is literally to do – I love working on this. So you can do this. You sit down at your instrument, whatever your instrument is. That's C to G, up and down. And we've done this on the show yeah. before, actually. I'm going to play it a couple times so I can hear it here in the room. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to develop what you might call that sound, that inner child sound in my head, right? So I'm going to imagine those notes in that cadence, that scale up and down. And I'm going to think about it first like what what do I want to say with this right now? Like what is it what would it sound like if I wanted to express myself with that passage just as it is? How does that sound in my head with this with this beautiful Keyscape Road sound, or it's not even a Rhodes, it's a, a vintage vibe sound, right? What is that going to sound like here in this room? So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna think about what that sounds. Literally try to hear it in my mind's ear. Yeah. And then here's we'll the important it. part, Dalen. You got to let go of any results. So whatever happens, I don't care about. I only care about trying to hear the sound of that perfectly for me mm. right now. What is here with me right now? So I'm gonna hear that. So that was so beautiful. That felt so good to play that. I know it seems kind of hokey, but it feels really great yeah. when you can t tap into that. Yeah. So that's the first level of this. Now, the second level is, why don't you try it, Peter, real quick. Just play it a couple times here. Because okay. because you you are such a natural at this. I well, let me just note this, and this will help people before we do that. If you notice what Adam just did, what he didn't do, which when we're practicing and learning is as important as what we're doing sometimes, he did not say, wait, let me wait until I have the perfect piano or the perfect time. You connected right, right with the goal of playing. Just You didn't say, well, let me find something better. Let me think about what this is going to sound like. You went directly into connecting as best that you could do under these circumstances. Absolutely. And like made a commitment to elevate, intentionally elevate right at that moment. Not the number of notes or the virtuos virtuosity or even what this might sound like to others or whatever. It was a very intentional thing for um, for your connection with the instrument and the intention of being able to educate others, which is a very powerful thing to be able to take this. Well, and mostly I was just trying to play with it. Yeah. I was playing. I was oh, like, yeah, that too. what can I get? <laughs> yeah, but that's part of this. All part of it is where, what are we here in the moment? And then I'll play with that. Right. But what I'm saying is you didn't say, oh, in order to play with it, just like a five-year-old, the five-year-old starts to like yeah, have they fun. They're not like, can they're I get like, a fazioli in here first, please? <laughs> yeah. Can I get the right boots on before I jump in that creek? You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So Peter, just what play. What kind of five-year-old talks like, ah, come on, from Brooklyn? This kind. This kind. <laughs> Uh, play the C to G if you don't mind, okay. Peter, and because I have a different kind of version okay, that you I could also I've... try. This is like level two, Dalen, that we we can do, and you could do this with like just four octaves of a scale if you want. Yeah. But are you getting anything on your piano there or no? Oh, there. Shout out to Keyscape. You know what I'm saying? What a great sound. Is that the Fazioli? No, that's the Yamaha, but it's a good one. Okay. Okay. So I can't add anything. You can't no. add anything. We're just going to use I'm those violating. four notes. Now I want you to imagine You're swimming upstream. Who's your Who's your all time favorite pianist? Who's your daddy? Who's your all time? <laughs> Jeez, I can't get a word in that. <laughs> who's the all time? <laughs> Talk about playful. <laughs> Who's your all-time favorite p pianist? All-time. If you were to just today, who who you who who are you? Art real? Tatum. Art Tatum. Could you try to play this? Just that. Imagine Art Tatum had this task. He had this as a little intro for something. Ooh. What would that? Can sound I change like? my answer? No. Nope. <laughs> and you can't. It has to be those five notes up and down. But imagine how Art Tatum would approach that. Okay. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. That was actually very uh, kind of an interesting statement. Yeah. And what was great is you can't judge what happens. So whatever happens, happens after. Like, yeah. We're not even, I mean, we're listening as because we can't help not to. It's part of it. Yeah. But we're not judging good mm. or bad. It's just interesting. It just is. And we're trying to hear that sound. So you could do this now. What, what would happen if you tried to play that passage? If Keith Jarrett were to play that, how would that sound to you? Can I add an accompaniment? No. Okay. Can I buy a vowel? No. Okay. Keith Jarrett. That is so beautiful. That was so Sorry, gorgeous. I just remembered at the end to add the. That was so, <laughs> to add the vocals, that was so gorgeous. So yeah. that's another thing you can do, Dalen, like is that. take these very, like I use this on my technique exercises because it's such a great way to connect not only with your technique, but now you're connecting with what we call the, the, the mind's ear, right? And you're working on clearing the path from the music that's inside you mm. out to your listener. 
Um, so, okay, one more thing here that you can do, Dale. P Peter, could you mind just laying down a little groove here of like... Before we do that... All right, so I'll, we're gonna set this groove, Peter. I'm gonna set this for you here. Simple little groove, mm -hmm. F major, G like major, it. A minor. Like we're it. just gonna keep it simple because we're gonna keep it this scale. If you don't mind grabbing this for me. Oh, you. Yeah. So now you can work on this in a little more complex improvisation. Dalen, by just singing, literally singing to yourself, trying to hear what you play. And we're just gonna use those same five notes. We're gonna we're gonna open it up so that you can use any combination of, of that and see if you can hear a melody inside you. I'm literally hearing it just as it's happening. Thank you, Peter. So this idea, and you could do this with maybe a pentatonic scale too, but keeping your, restricting what notes you can play, right? You mentioned like theory and technique, like taking all that away. Restrict your practice. And literally practicing, trying to hear your musical voice with that. Yeah. And then you can start, can you play giant steps? Accompany me yeah. on giant steps. One, two, one, two, three, and. Thank you, Peter. So then you can, I mean, I literally, it was the exact same neurons firing from the C to the G as it yep. was for giant steps. Wow. Just, the, you know, because the theory has been there, because we couldn't see the mountain for a while, because yeah. we were exploring, we came back to it, and now it's just making these melodies. And going right into that is important, right? But seeing that progression of hearing the the, the sound in your head, and then, you know, when, when you think about theory and adding these kinds of like knowledge, like these ideas, like you were talking about, Dalen, Adding those is just now being able to do that over more and more complex mm. structures, like giant steps. Like yep. you, this feeling should still be there of I only have a couple of notes that we had, you know, or a pentatonic scale. Same thing. Right. Hearing the hearing the notes and then not judging. Mm. I love it. Yeah. I love it, man. Cool. That's some knowledge we dropped, mostly you, but that's good. No, I mean we'll take it together. I've I've been working really on this. Good. You know, it, this is like a point in a lot of people's journey, especially we've got a lot of open studio pro folks who are such good players. They know a lot of theory, but there's kind of where Dalen is, right? They're stuck yeah. in this kind of thing. This is a super common challenge. Totally. This exact kind of like and and the great thing is I think once you do these exercises and once you start to understand what the obstacle is, it's not a it's not like a it's not actually an obstacle. No. It's like it's an obstacle in your mind. Only in your mind. And so it's not like the kind of thing of like, how can I play like Art Tatum? Like that's a bigger obstacle, you know? Obviously. But it's like, how can you get past this point to where you're able to like bring out all this great stuff that you have the possibility to have with the technique and the harmony and all the things you've learned, but like a little bit of a barrier to letting that come out in a more natural way and a way that's so much more fun and natural for you as you're listening and as you're playing it. That's right. I mean, it goes right around, uh, right along with our, our saying around here, which is you can't really information your way yeah. to being a better player. Oh, no, we say you can't information your right. way. We, I mean, don't, we leave out the really. But learning the information is is the giant steps, right? That's yeah. just the, the context you're putting it in. You, the playing, the musician, the music that comes out, that's that's that. That's hearing it in your head and being right. able to just. And look, a, lo a lot of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, that's that's great. But I don't know giant steps like that. I can't just do this. Like, but that in in, in some ways, that's the simple part of your practice. Totally is. You've got to do those sets and reps. You have to practice. And yep. that's not going to happen overnight. Totally. But that's a lot easier for us. That's a shorter explanation in term, which we'll do on another episode. And we've done in terms of like how you learn these kinds of things. How do you first of all, you don't start on giant steps. That's the. Right. Obviously, yeah. But in terms of like developing, I'm not a fan of starting with giant stuff. That's right. Oh, I like the way <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of that. That's great. Well, this was good, man. Keep the great questions coming, please, everybody. You can go to youllhearit.com at any time, yeah, and leave us a voice memo, a voice message, or a speak pipe. That's right. And well, they're all the out, same thing. Go check out our new YouTube channel. Hello, it's called You'll Hear It YouTube.com. We got to explain to them how this. Hear it. Yeah, slash. No, we got to explain how this came out. This is actually a partnership between uh, three entities. 
Open Studio Jazz. Yep. You'll hear it and Google. That's right. The three of us have come together to create this thing called a YouTube channel. Three titans of the <laughs> industry. That's right. Yeah. So please join us over there uh, for a little bit of fun. That's right. Until next time. You'll hear it. It's over, Peter. It's over. Oh, we're still Thanks on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around, YouTube. Uh, shout us out there in the comments. And look, th thank you for all the great comments you've been leaving in the previous oh, episodes. We love it. We love. We haven't it. seen them yet. I don't know why I'm looking, Full at the disclosure. I'm looking at the camera more this time than we I ever have. Well, well because we're on YouTube, man. Yeah, we think, you know, it's because we got a red light on this particular we, camera. We, uh, we haven't seen the comments yet because we're recording this first set all together, but we're yeah. looking forward to seeing it. And don't if leave you, us hanging. If you're digging this content, uh, don't forget to like the video. And of course, hit the subscribe bell. All the stuff. You know, we're trying to grow this channel. You ready for some jujitsu, man? Get you. I get, do. Get I gotta go. Face I gotta on, go. I gotta go. I take my. Face. This gotta, man's about to go drop some jujitsu now. I'm doing some dad. Or you're just dropping your kid off. I'm dropping my kid off, but I'm also excited because I'm going. I'm seeing my sister and her husband Ben tonight. Oh, They're nice. in from Brooklyn. Nice. So I'm gonna go. Bro no stop to Brooklyn. We don't know that song. DC Boys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Variation. All right. You'll, thanks, thanks, y'all. You'll see it. You'll see it. That's lame. Man. <laughs> Man, I was trying to do, wait. Let's try it again. Let's do it together. You'll see You'll, it. Oh, oh come on. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then we're gonna say it. Ready? One, two, three. You'll see. You'll it. see it.